Hello, beautiful Cancers. We have an incredible reading in front of you in which when I turned on my camera, I didn't push the button hard enough. And the reading is so fantastic that I really can't, I don't have it in me to pull the cards up and start fresh. This is absolutely incredible. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Cancer, welcome to all new visitors, all cross watchers, welcome back, beautiful subscribers. Thank you for all of your support, I am so grateful. The last year has been a whirlwind and I've gotten to know many of you in the comment sections by interacting. Thank you, thank you. So when we look at this reading, Cancer, I, I was so happy. It's the best reading that I've seen on this table in a very long time. So let me go through the cards because we have the white cards here. The cards sort of underneath uh, are really, really good. It reveals some of the issues that are going on for you. But your outcome cards are absolutely amazing. I love what you're going through. Okay, so the overall energy for your reading, Cancer, is your door to personal healing and happiness. And boy, does it swing open, it slams open. This month is a month in which you have many epiphanies. Things that used to trouble you, things that you used to struggle with, you are no longer struggling with them in your relationship. Community, you have a lot of support. You have people around you who really adore you and who really, really love you. So let's get started here. We have that the energy at the beginning of the reading is that you are making a decision to let go of ego battles or ego, you know, just a sort of minor tussling. It's all about, and this is the core of your reading, it's all about wanting it your way or trying to be right. You have decided, judgment card, you're releasing the need to be right and you're replacing it with the need to manifest happiness, stability, love, a long-term connection. You are an incredible manifester this month. So whatever you have been thinking about your relationship, you have just made a beautiful decision to release ego-driven battles. Consciously or unconsciously, you've done it. So what we do get is the advice from spirit is to bring love into the situation. Okay, so I'm going to put that out of the way. Now what we have here is that the ego battle that seems to be very much one that you struggle with is that it appears that you perhaps love somebody or you are the king of cups energy. Now the king of cups energy is phenomenal. It's Scorpio energy. Till death do us part. Uh, unconditional love. I'm serene. I'm not a person who loses my cool. You know, I can be, I'm deeply loving. The problem is, is that the king of cups energy does not talk about it. And that leaves you or your partner, vice versa energy is always is part of general readings, but it leaves, it's causing, that's what causes the ego issues in your relationship because someone feels left in the cold, they feel unloved, they don't feel validated. You know, it's an energy that is quite, quite striking. But when you look at the card of the Five of Pentacles, it's not truth. This person is so caught up with not seeing the fact that the key is right here, poised against the door, that this five of coins can be obtained by putting the key right there in the lock. But this person is so sidetracked by their emotions that they can't see the love or they can't experience the love even though it's there. This person is very likely to be one that shows you by acts of kindness you know, by other ways that they love you and they probably don't tell you as much. But right now, it is a source of stress in your relationship. What I love about this is that time is on your side, that you've had enough time in this relationship to know that this person is not usually fiery and out there. They tend to keep things to themselves. Now, your inner, your feeling is that this person is really the ego part of this problem in the past has been that you think they're withholding from you to gain power because they're ego driven, that it's all about them. And as, as you will see, I feel as though that is an erroneous 
thought process that maybe you're bringing in from other relationships. I don't feel that it, it, it is a case. Wheel of Fortune turns in your favor. It really means that your experience in life has brought you to this place. Timing is right for you to understand the difference between somebody who's really ego driven and who may be very narcissistic versus someone who simply doesn't have an easy time necessarily being verbal. And that's a huge difference. So what I'm seeing is that intellectually, <laughs> you know, you know what you know. And what you know is you have this Libra energy. And even though this person in the past, if you had been with this person, you would have thought, oh, hell to the no, this person's wounded me. But now you have the basic understanding that it still is a problem. You haven't ser solved it. It's not going to serve you to get into tussles with this person. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a hot minute for yourself and you're not going to think the worst. You don't need to heal. This person hasn't done anything to really hurt you. And intellectually, this is Libra energy. You're finding your balance. So what we see here, though, is you're also not going to initiate. In the past, you would have initiated an argument. And now, right now, you're just saying, I'm going to do nothing. Ace of Wands reversed. I'm going to say nothing. Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil is what this means in essence. And it is good energy. You know, don't start something. Don't start conflict. Now, when we get to the card that says that you do feel somewhat unfulfilled in this, it shows me that, you know, this is Cancerian energy. Cancerian energy is very sensitive energy. Cancers have huge hearts. You are the mothers of the universe. You give so much love. And when you look at the ways that you give love, you aren't necessarily receiving love in the expected ways. So, but what you do is you have to have a lot of love that you're not seeing floating up here behind your head. Instinctively, you know this, and that's why you're not getting into an ego-driven battle. You absolutely know this person values you, but it is creating a sense of a lack of fulfillment. Here's the good news. The Five of Swords, you would have ended a relationship that, this, that had this energy in it, like you would have caused some drama in the past, but you are not causing drama. You're looking at this and you're saying, I'm trying to figure this out. I need to feel this kind of love. You don't even see this one up here because you're not looking, but you are showing a great deal of maturity uh, because now we have the Empress card. That's the penultimate loving Venus energy. So yes, you know that you have it. You know this person loves you. When we get this Venus energy, you know, this is Empress energy. So you know that this person really does love you. They really appreciate you. They feel that you're beautiful. They feel a deep, deep sense of love towards you. And you instinctively know that with that beautiful Empress card. What we get into here, and I love this energy for you. This just shows so much development, so much maturity, so much of what it's like to come the distance, to go the distance here, and to be in a healthy relationship because the energy between you and your lover is strength. You, and you're the leader here. You really are. You understand that everybody wants to feel good and everybody wants to have their ego stroked and everybody wants to feel like, you know, from their partner, it's winner, winner, chicken dinner. You know, we appreciate that. The truth of the matter is that both of you tend to be a little bit more quiet, a little bit more subdued, but this where this is ego driven and it's fun, it's exciting, there's not always going to be an audience here to see the love that is contained within your relationship. So again, this is a very kind of a, a private kind of feeling because we have an animal who isn't supposed to be able to talk to the human. And yet, though you're very different, though it feels as though you're very different, you are together for eternity. The eternity symbol is above her head. So you do feel as though this person is your person. It also looks as though 
your relationship is going to be pu come public very soon. This also speaks to a win and it can mean that you're going to become engaged. That you become, if you are not getting engaged and the relationship is fairly new, that you're going to meet friends, meet the family, you're going to be declared as the winner in love with your person. So it's really public acclaim, you have all the support of community, so I really feel that you're going to be very happy. You are the declared winner, you know, of this beautiful uh, manifested relationship that you brought into your life. The Five of Wands, okay. When you feel competitive, when you feel like you're not getting what you want, it breaks your heart. And that is part of who you are. It's part of your makeup. You can't really change that. You know, the Three of Swords makes you feel jealous. You have a tendency to probably be very jealous if your partner gives somebody a lot of a lot of attention. It could even be their mother, their sister. It could be a job. It could be friends. But you do have a certain amount of jealousy that you're trying to overcome in this relationship. So when you get jealous right now, you are going into this energy of the Four of Pentacles. You're holding back. You're self-protective. You really feel as though your King of Cups is, you know, doing something that they shouldn't do, that they're egotistical, that, you know, you jump to some conclusions here. But here's the truth of the matter is that this person loves you very deeply. The Sun card is absolutely the truth of the situation. So what's beautiful about this is that you're going to stop your self-talk that's destructive you're going to you're really working on keeping a much better attitude and realizing realizing that just because you feel jealous doesn't mean there is a reason to be jealous okay and because I'm getting the Sun card here the Sun card is the happiest card in the deck this person loves you you know that they love you and instead of being all up in your head the change in you cancer is that you are not going to continue to entertain negative thinking I see that this is a new part of you. This is something that you are learning. I'm getting this beautiful energy of you saying, you know, I'm going to throw caution to the wind. I'm going to trust my person. I'm going to trust that they're going to be fair. This person has, you view this person as very angelic. This is a good human being. You know that this person is a good person, Cancer. So you are trying to manage your, I think, old wounds. You know, this, this card is very much... Where did I see it? Four of Swords, Four of Swords, where is it? Okay, hmm. That's very much an old wound. This is an old wound. That is a wound that is still needing healing. But, you know, what we're seeing for you, though, is very much that you are ascending into Empress energy. The King of Wands is here. The King of Wands is all about taking action and having fun. So what's interesting about your relationship is though sometimes you don't have that heartfelt, you know, sort of lifetime movie moment when this person looks into your eyes and says the perfect thing to you. But boy, oh boy, are they out there. They're always planning something. They're always doing something. They're always saying, let's go enjoy life together. I love having fun with you. I'm here walking by your side. You're the best person. You know, this is the happiest card in the deck again, repeated. And what it tells me is you have a double dose of the sun card. The Leo King is all about, you know, I'm going to feel good about myself by doing something brilliant and wonderful for our relationship. Again, the King of Cups energy has a tendency to show through actions, which is Juan's energy, that they love you. They're trying to make you happy and you know that. So then we have we have the card of confusion. You're like, oh, I'm not sure I really get this, but look at this. Now we have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is coming in to give you clarity. The Queen of Wands is coming in to tell you that you this is a really valuable relationship. That the Ace of Coins, it's worth the investment. By the way, when I get the Six of Wands and the Ace of Coins, you know, it shows those are energies. It doesn't create an actual proposal. But what it tells me is that both of you are assessing the relationship. Seven is a spiritual energy. You're both assessing this relationship to be a keeper. All these cards are telling me that both of you see this relationship as a keeper and you instinctively know it. 
The eighth coin, when we go seven and one is eight, we have the ace of coins, which is the journey that you have taken. And it's like that cute little song, getting to know you, getting to know all about you. And I'm a really bad singer, but thank you for forgiving me for that. <laughs> I'm not really going to do that very often, but it really is a beautiful energy that says that you really have gotten to know each other. You've gotten to know the core of who you are. You know this is your person. You want this relationship. And when we get the Queen of Wands twice, now we get the consummate energy that says, I'm the feminine energy. I don't want to be egotistical. I want to take action. This is about Aries, Aries energy. When we get the, the King of Wands energy, that's sort of like, you're mine, you're part of who I am. You know, it's a very prideful energy and that can be egotistical, but it's also the fun button of the relationship. This, your person has a fun button down big time. Romantic, let's dash off to the Caribbean on the weekend, here's the ticket it's, you know, that kind of thing. When we get the Queen of Wands, we get the absolute incredible energy of the manager, of the business person, of that person who knows how to solve the problems. This person's thinking about it. This person is like, I've got it. I've got it. I've got the answer. I have manifested it. And this is your energy, Cancer. This is your second house of everything you value for Cancer Rising. So it really speaks to the fact that, you know, you're all about having great clarity now. You do have great clarity. You're seeing the truth of the matter for what it is. And your person really shows you more than tells you that they love you. The hanged man says that when you start to feel defensive, you are biting your tongue. <laughs> you are not saying anything. You have just totally decided, Cancer, that what you want is not worth, um, it's, it's not worth fighting, what is it? Let's see, what, I can't remember the saying, but it's like, don't sweat the small stuff. That's what it is. You are not sweating the small stuff. These small things, you see these things very differently than you used to. Your maturity level with the, the uh, Empress card shows that you have been, you retrospectively look at perhaps a past relationship in which somebody loved you a great deal and you might not have really understood or appreciated that their personality was very different. So what we're getting here is that, you know, in this ability to give up ego battles, you are manifesting this beautiful cooperative relationship because you are simply not going to be involved in strife. We come together with the King and Queen of Wands with, it's not how we do it, it's what we do. It's not about who's right, it's about what's right. Here's the king out there trying to find solutions to problems. And you're like, you know, I'm with you on this. Let's go solve that problem. You become indomitable as a couple. You become very powerful as a couple. You bring such happiness into your life because the ego battles fall away. You allow them to just fall to the floor and it becomes not who's right, it's what's right. All of the ego, this kind of egocentric energy, narcissistic energy has floated away in this reading. I have gotten the Two of Cups clarified by the Two of Cups. That is a bride and groom card. This is the reward for the maturity and for the growth that you have had ever since Pluto has been in Capricorn, your opposite sign. The Saturn transit, the, the uh, Jupiter transit, all of these planets. For many of you, you may have had you know, you may have come close to breaking up. You may have broken up. This may be a new relationship. But the lessons that you have learned are don't sweat the small stuff. Don't get in ego battles. Understand that, you know, I'm in this partnership in which we truly love each other. We do love differently, but that's because two people, two sets of footprints, two sets of fingerprints, two minds, two hearts, you're going to have different opinions. But look at that energy. You have the sun card twice. I mean, that is crazy good. You know, we have the king and queen of wands. You know, here we have it again. This is a powerhouse reading. It's an incredible reading. 
what we have is your outcome. Look at what this is leading to because we started out with you being able to manifest this relationship is anchored by the fact that you decided to give up, to release ego battles. And in so doing, you've manifested this love. You have the Hierophant card. You have indicators of a potential engagement that will come through. You have the Lover's card. Whatever love choices you make, you and your partner are divinely protected. You have a relationship offer coming in, a very romantic offer. It is this beautiful Ace of Coins. And together, you've already created this. And now you have total manifestation, Cancer, the King of Pentacles. This is a card of manifestation. So the, the maturity of the masculine and the maturity of the feminine have brought you to this beautiful romantic place of soon to making a commitment. Your journey in this path, Cancer, is taking shelter. The answers are within that anything you need to know, you already know, and you've exhibited that in this reading. The Wandering Path, enjoy the journey, and that is so much the Sun card. The Sun card, look at that, two suns, <laughs> two suns, metaphorically or in reality, uh, but you know, enjoy life. You know, it's sweet, your life is sweet. And, you know, it's just incredible energy. The Two of Cups and the Two of Cups. The Sun card and, okay, well, this, we have two Sun cards. So it's really beautiful energy. Cancer, sending you love from Chicago. I'm going to leave it there. Send some back. Tell me uh, where you're from. And if you did like this, like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you so much, Cancer. Bye-bye.